In this Warhammer Age of Sigmar video, I'll chat about why classic green skin artillery may be screaming its way back onto our tabletops, where a missing incarnate has been hiding in plain sight, and why I'm pretty convinced we will see the first new Chaos Dwarf mini in 2025, plus some other stuff. So hello, I'm Hobby Jackal. this is Rumor Wang, my semi-regular Fantasy Focus Warhammer Rumor series, which actually has a fairly decent track record at this point. This video is split into three parts, starting with why I think screaming gobbos with weaponized headgear are going to be filling the skies of Age of Sigmar, how an incarnate which sat right under our noses solves the oldest rumor engine to date, and what might be next for Warhammer Underworlds, plus a bonus section at the end relating to this rumor engine. <laughs> Glorious news, I believe the Warhammer Fantasy Battles Orcs and Goblins Doom Diver Catabolt is due to make a comeback to Warhammer Age of Sigmar next year. So we'll start with the internet rumour before touching upon multiple hints from Warhammer community itself. Rumour monger or rumorologist? Rumorologist? White Fang backed me up, chucked a cheeky anagram at the wonderfully able TGA community, which was quickly unravelled to say Doom Diver Catapult. And White Fang backed me up, previously teased Skaven Tide content, Skaven releases, Stormcast releases, and described a mini Doom Wheel appearing back on the 11th of August, two whole months before Warhammer Underworld's Ember Guard would show off the model. Warhammer community in turn has shared a roadmap and described upcoming Gloom Spike Gits content as involving a new spearhead, separate kit releases, and an army box. The latter of which generally includes brand new stuff. Additionally, the Gloom Spike Gits faction pact released by Warhammer community features a curious addition to the Bad Moon Loon Shrine rules. That was like a tongue twister. Stating pick a friendly non-hero, non-monster, non-war machine Gloom Spike Gits unit. And this also appears on the printed card pack. And notably Gloom Spike Gits don't have any war machines, suggesting this may be a carryover for content already written for the new battle tome. Finally, they've also shared a rumor engine image with us, which is nigh identical to the existing Snarfang Rider miniatures from the Gloom Spike Gits range. Leading to my own previous assumptions that the new Gloom Spike Gits range will focus on the Git Mob Grots. And let's touch on why that matters. Gitmob Grops is a moniker taken on by the common goblins of the Warhammer world that was. This world then imploded due to chaos shenanigans and reformed as the mortal realms of Warhammer Age of Sigma. This happened way back when, where eventually everything was sort of carried over into this new world, exclaiming Tomb Kings and then Bretonians, and the Gitmob were there. Gitmob Grots included Foot Grots, Wolf Riding Grots, Wolf Chariots, a load of Snotlings, and War Machines, which included Spear Chuckers, Rock Lobbers, and the aforementioned Doom Diver Catapult, which I haven't specified is literally a catapult that launches a goblin into the skies with some wings that barely allow them to fly, and a pointy helmet for when they inevitably crash into the enemy or a tree or something. At the start of 2019, Gloom Spike Gits officially appeared, absorbing and expanding Moon Clan, Trogoth, and Spider Fang elements, but leaving Gitmob by the wayside. The minis ceased to be available, and the rules for them shifted quietly into Legends and then quietly away. That is until Goblin Wolf Riders, now renamed Snarlfang Riders, reappeared in Warhammer Underworlds in November 2019, ahead of an official multi-part release in January 2023. Both these new releases would retain the keyword Gitmob, indicating whilst the sub-faction may have disappeared for a while, it was certainly not forgotten. <laughs> So this crunchy, broken, arachnorock-looking skull is the oldest rumour engine unsolved to date. One of the most popular deductions online is that this was an incarnate. Think of a sort of spiritual, wibbly mess of magic and bones and anger. So the rumour goes that Seasons of War Thondia was due to be part of a trio of books, with the sequels named Gallet and Lendu. Each of them would be tied to a brand new incarnate model, and one would also feature the intact Sigmarite buildings which do pop up from time to time in the back of Warhammer photography, if true, and notably I have no idea how true this is. For whatever reason these didn't materialise, and it could be a case of the Curse of Curse City, where things just go a bit wibbly behind the scenes, but much like Curse City it may suggest that this content will turn up in one form or another at some point. So why am I talking about all this here? Well, an eagle-eyed poster named Timbo Hobbit spotted this piece of art hiding in plain sight within the new Warhammer Age of Sigma core book. It's a curious looking swirly creature, not unlike the original Cron Spine Incarnate, and with some editing shenanigans on screen right now, 
You can see this is almost definitely the same creature as featured in the Rumor Engine. Just look at the eyes and which ones are present and which ones are missing. Additionally, we were told at Nova Open that Age of Sigmar would be receiving a narrative book, and the suggestion seemed to be that this was the kind of thing that was coming soon. So I wouldn't be totally shocked if an incarnate makes a reappearance. I also wouldn't be shocked if they maybe repainted it to tie into Azir, the realm of fire where things are currently going on. I certainly do hope it doesn't just disappear for good. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. So another rumorologist has a penchant for Warhammer Underworlds rumors. Nighthaunt Noob recently teased the latest two warbands correctly, even cheekily describing one as lugging a pot belly around, and I couldn't have guessed how literal uh, they were being with that statement. Tellingly, this is the same person that told us we will see Chaos Dwarden arriving for Warhammer Underworlds uh, in a warband that won't just feature Dwarden, and that we'll also see Croneseer themed Daughters of Cain. So now more than ever, it feels more than likely we're going to see the Chaos Dwarden rocking up to Age of Sigmar tabletops in 2025, which is pretty damn exciting. Now, Nighthaunt Noob has also suggested that these will not be the next warband, suggesting that Destruction has pipped them to the post and will be the next warband to arrive. So what these warbands will be, uh, I don't really know. So it could be a bit like what we chatted about earlier, Git Mob Grots. We might get a little preview of what we're likely to see there. Or it could be unrelated. We do also have a rumor engine for a blade, which looks very much like a Hobgrot uh, blade for the Cruel Boys. Throw another slight spanner into the works, the Hobgrots are also tightly linked in the lore to the Chaos Dwarden, suggesting that this could be the non-Dwarden entity that turns up in their warband for Underworlds if all that is happening. So a lot of question marks here, and again I'd like to know what you think. So bonus material time sticking to rumor engines. The latest looks very much like a Soul Blight Gravelords model, particularly the Blood Knight armor which carries over a look which was started in Warhammer Fantasy Battles with the Blood Dragons. And you know what else kind of has this same look? Prince Vordry, who's a Blood Knight riding a zombie dragon, and uh, there's another rumor going around that the zombie dragon's gonna be replaced. So just putting this out there, this could be part of that model, and a little bit more of that in a previous video here. So that's it, thank you very much for watching. If you do enjoy this video, then please do feel free to like, subscribe, and share. It really helps me in the channel, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Cheers.